those guys are welcome back to another Palm Masters video, and we're, we're back on the Gauntlet Streak, and this one's uploaded a bit late in terms of, uh, you know, uh, like, the uh, on, on dates where, like, nothing generally happens, like, I mean, when, when something actually happens to reset, obviously I upload at this time, but generally I don't really upload at this time, because, uh, uh, I'm sleepy and I want to go to bed, but due to unforeseen circumstances in the past few runs, well, specifically one run, <laughs> I do have my, um, gauntlet streak, uh, slightly disturbed and messed up a bit, um, I'm behind by, like, one video, <laughs> so I do <laughs> need to sort of catch up the pace, uh, or else it won't, like, get done before time, so, anyways, let's get into this, this video, we should be able, you know, assuming everything is, is good and all, right, should be able to break the halfway mark over here. So let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. All right, so this team is gonna be a problem. <laughs> I mean, I, I like straight up, I we don't even need to see how it goes. We know this is gonna be a problem. Uh, this is an inc a incredibly disgusting team, gauges wise. <laughs> Like, this is, this is, literally, none of these units are, are positive gauge units. We have zero positive gauge units on the on, on this team. Um, it's going to be ugly. <laughs> it's going to get ugly, folks. <sighs> Anyways, so, all right, we got Restrain in there, at least, to start. Uh, I don't have Phoebe EX, I believe, right? So, we're just going to have to, just going to have to sync with um, Nessa. I do have Escape Artist. As my lucky skill on Phoebe. I don't know why I have it. I have Escape Artist on Phoebe. It was just a lucky skill I had on her, like, before, like, this gauntlet streak, like, even started. I no clue why she has it, but she has it. So, I guess, you know, might as well make use of it. Because <laughs> it's nice here, right? I mean, against Entei, where the biggest issue is, like, restrain or whatever, right? So, like, okay, sure. I'll take it. But, um... <laughs> Not exactly sure why she has that. I mean, personally, I probably would prefer just as, like, a general. G general, like, lucky like skill for probably something like uh, Fast Track 2, but uh, it is what it is, I guess. Or move, oh, well, move gauge refresh would be better, but that, you know, is expensive. It costs, uh, <laughs> costs the, 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 the Lux Lucky Cookies, which, uh, I, uh, not gonna be using on Phoebe, unfortunately. Right, not that it's like a ter like bad unit to use it on. I mean, sh she's a really nice unit to use it on, but <laughs> it's not an incredibly like interesting unit to use on. All right, so uh, if you're wondering what the hell are we doing with like Dorald on here, like why 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 is Dorald on here? He's a special unit. He's steel type. He probably doesn't. Although to be fair, Phoebe Sovahar has honestly kind of been a bit of a positive gauge unit because she keeps on getting these MP refreshes on her uh, trainer move, and honestly. We should use them a bit more. <laughs> I've been I've been trying to, you know, just save them for like very important parts. Also, we haven't gotten a single flinch from Draldon and he's about to get taken out. <laughs> so <laughs> But Phoebe, honestly, you know what? Good good for good for good for her, man. She she's been uh, she's been hitting us with some uh MP refreshes here. <laughs> Got natural remedy on Phoebe. Honestly, Phoebe is caring a bit. Well uh, well, also Nessa's, you know, humongous nukes. But <laughs> <sighs> Phoebe, Phoebe has been helping, man. Phoebe has been put in work on like, multiple fronts. I mean, she's taking heads. She's, uh, she's giving us some gauge stuff. All right. She, she natural remedy away the, uh, the, the, the burn. She escape artist the, uh, the trap. We got to give Phoebe some props here, man. Like, legitimately. Phoebe's gonna, unfortunately, go down here, but that's the exact bit of sacrifice we needed to finish the the job unless we don't crit here i guess but i mean even if we don't crit it should be decent enough also i probably shouldn't have picked up relentless on uh very very late <laughs> probably should have picked up relentless on on uh, now so we don't have like as reliable um physical defense debuffing for her considering the fact that entei buffs physical defense uh pretty consistently all right but anyway whatever it's it's, it's over <laughs> we're fine all right all right all right there we go all right next one up uh, f number 50 once we beat this we'll be we'll be halfway done folks can you believe it halfway done and uh, this you might look at this team and ask hey post what the heck isn't 
did you go go into the wrong you know stage again with the wrong team? Isn't this a top of Bulu team? Well, uh, well, no, <laughs> we're, we're not in the wrong stage. But does this look like a top of Bulu team? Yeah, it does. It looks like a top of Bulu team, uh, but it's not. It is not. It's definitely not a top of Bulu team uh, because of the fact that we want uh, Erica mainly over here, right? Just because Erica is a very um. Oh, there we go. Got the MP refresh we wanted. A very uh, consistent paralyzed unit, right? Obviously, stun spore, 100% chance to paralyze, right? That's, can't get more, uh, you know, can't get more consistent. I guess you can get slightly more consistent if there's 100% you know, accuracy move, but like, generally, a, a really consistent paralysis unit, right, over here. And that's that's why we have her on, on, on um, Tornadus instead of what you'd probably expect, which would be Tapu Bulu, right? And the main uh, idea, generally, right, is you want the better units against the harder opponents. And in this case, right, of all these legendary uh, uh, gauntlet stages, for this run, the hardest opponent over here uh, is, is, is Tornadus, right? So that's why we have him against Tornadus instead of Tabulu. Top Bulu is a bit of a bum. He's a really, he's incredibly, there's just so many different uh, combinations and, and team units that you could throw it, you know, throw throw at him and, and, and you know, really do work there. So uh, that's that's why we don't have him there. I do want to get a few, get a few hits in with uh, Celine, which we haven't really been able to do yet. Honestly, I, I should have, I overestimated our gauge potential. I should have picked up Rejuvenate on Flareon. Yeah, that's that's a bit of an L on my part, but uh, regardless, we should be fine. This is a pretty good team, all things considered, right? Oh, there we go, critical speed, finally. <laughs> uh, it's, it's yeah, it's, it's a pretty decent team, all things all things considered. You have a you know really really nice damage healer in. Um, Ooh, this is not nice. Rain dance, rain dancing away my um my oh so, oh so, oh I forgot to um forgot to re re uh, re paralyze this guy, but uh, it, it's all right. We're about to sink like literally next turn, so um we'll we'll get some back up there. Yeah, so pretty solid tank and Vileplume, especially considering Vileplume over here has Sun. She has uh, healing Sun too, which is uh, kind of a big deal, right? For for healing, that's like what thirty percent HP or whatever, right? 30% or 20%? Something like that. Regardless, I, either one, that's 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 a lot of HP <laughs> coming back, right? Uh, on on um, every single hit. That's obviously very, very, very nice. And Selene's just there for some extra damage. Actually, it's mainly because Selene was also one of the units I completely forgot to throw into a team comp <laughs> until like earlier this morning. I'm pretty sure I have everyone else you know down now <laughs> and and um so so i just quickly threw him into like one of these comps that had like an extra eggmon they're doing like nothing uh just i just have uh, like i have a lot of like teams where there's just a shiny eggmon in there just because uh, i want to show off my shinies <laughs> they don't like do any like anything like functional right i mean if they are it's just like marginal like small things right uh, which which are nice but <laughs> Generally just to, um, just in case stuff like this happens, right? Oh, I screwed up something and they've left something out. So I just have a lot of very, very powerful teams that have just these like open slots that I could move stuff around, right? Just to, just in case in the process, I screwed up something in the pre uh, preparation part, right? Then then we could we deal with that. <laughs> so that's that's uh, that's that's one of the um stuff here uh yeah vile plume is so good man incredibly underrated unit incredibly underrated unit it's just such a great look at that you took like nothing from that right good special defensively physical defensively uh and again especially 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 in sun right especially in sun and especially in sun with all these heals and like energy ball has like three move gauge refreshes if you wanted to it has like two honor rolls i think two for like energy ball damn we got it for super effective for like both of our units but he, he only does that like once so we're fine um 
that incredibly powerful unit. Uh, but also, also wouldn't have worked without Lucas over here. Also very, very, very good unit as they just cured the freaking uh, paralysis. Uh, oops, that's the wrong move there, but um, it's all right. Oh, look at that. Look at the move gauge. Like, she's not like inherently a really, really fast unit, but like just all the move gauge refreshes does kind of make up for it. All right, does kind of make up for it. So there's that at least. And, and yeah, again, Lucas setting the sun on sync, right? You got the, um, got synchro healing as well. Like literally just infinite sun for Vileplume just to like, you know, abuse over and over again. All right, all right, it, we're, it, it's enough. We, we <laughs> it's time to stun spore spam and like click nothing else with Vileplume. Vile all right, nothing else but, but, but stun spore now. Okay. Let's see. I probably should have clicked an ember there with um with uh, the, the the Flareon, so we could have. Oh well, I guess uh he was you know, relatively slow, so we got our chance, I guess. Uh, anyways, yeah. Uh, the only thing that's not really good uh, about running Flareon over here is you can't burn um Tornadus, right? And obviously he has a lot of uh, multipliers. Uh, you know, in terms of DPS wise or, or sync nuke wise, that are uh, burn based multipliers, and you just can't get like those off, which slightly sucks. Also, I, yep, I was just about to say I should have queued up Stun Spore first before Heat Wave, <laughs> but it's alright. I mean, like, literally, almost everyone, except for like Celine, Celine's not that great of a like, like defensively, right? Is uh, like, the, we're, we're at uh, <laughs> at max division. Also, Solar Immunity from Flareon, right? Um, entire team uh, immune to status conditions like this guy's toxic right when we have Sun up which is also very very nice and and very 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 good uh, for this specific case so again even though it seems like should have been a top Bulu team but um, no it could also be a pretty effective tornado team although maybe Celine but like the thing is I I, I initially looked to put Celine in like one of those top Bulu teams but I just have like, the top Bulu teams are so stacked man like Every single, like, almost every single team is, like, borderline overkill against Tapu Bulu, so. <sighs> Anyways, okay, that's that. Uh, number 50, we're halfway there. We are halfway to there, ladies and gentlemen. We're, we're, we're halfway there. 50 more to go. <laughs> at, uh, at this pace. Well, uh, yeah, that's why I'm releasing this uh, this video a bit later than usual, so I could actually keep the pace up and, and like, finish, like, on time, hopefully, so. Uh, anyways, uh, alright, let's, um, let's, I almost, I almost ended the video there. No, no, no. <laughs> still got more, still got more. 51 coming up. Alright, alright, so the first battle of the, of the second half of the 100, uh, streak over here. So, uh, top of Bulu, obviously, that's, that's the only one, uh, left, uh, for, for, for this set of runs. And... This should be a fun and interesting team, right? Because our tank is Thorton, which generally, it's not like a tank tank, but with like the resistance that he could get from his trainer move, it just might work. Who knows? Anyways, <laughs> whoops, didn't mean to telekinesis there, though. That's, 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 uh, that's not a whoops. That's, that's not what I was trying to do. Um, but it's all right. Well, okay. I mean, it's fine. Does anyone have like bad accuracy moves? You know, you know what? A seed flare is not a fantastic accuracy move, so that's 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 it's not terrible, I guess. All right, so analysis is complete, so we get resistance to grass over there, and the other, th the the second part that makes the tank um uh tank Thorton work is because uh, by himself, like the the uh, the analysis complete, like resistance isn't like that good, right? The other thing is, uh, we do have, well, two flinchers on the team, but also, um, SC Rosa with the potions. Just in case anything goes wrong, we got potions, right? Which, uh, just have it covered. Uh, but on the other hand, again, the telekinesis is very, very unnecessary because we have Sweet Scent over the evasion anyways. Uh, okay, so the main issue with this team is the main issue with most teams? <laughs> Just gauges, clearly. So I guess there's that still. They're gonna Zen headbutt. That's not something we wanna. Cause I do want to get another analysis complete in there just so we could um, buff our defenses as well. All right. So. Okay. Well, that was a not great timing on the flinch. Uh, if we really need to, 
we could go ahead and wait does analysis complete work on like sync moves too i mean it better work on sync moves like why would it not work on sync moves right all right i just didn't want to change its like resistance to like like dark or whatever i keep on clicking telekinesis instead of zen headbutt bro <laughs> <laughs> so frustrating. Anyways. Okay, why does this guy have two psychic moves? He's still type unit. Uh I know he's like part, you know. Um psychic in like the actual games. But he's not psychic type here. He's not psychic type in Paul Masses EX. <gasps> also I I picked up like MP refresh for his train moving to get any. Damn, it slightly sucks. Um Plumeria not looking very well over here. Uh HP wise. Ill, Ill timed uh, move gauge boost because uh, we don't. Yeah, we're, we're good on gauges right now. But I'll, I was just worried that, you know, if Plumeria just goes down soon and I, and I didn't like use any of the move gauge boosts, kind of be a bit of a waste. So uh, we are going to get hit by the C bomb, which is kind of uh, just going to hurt a bit. But at least it's better than getting hit by the wood hammer, which we have two flinches lined up just in case, you know, this, uh, this sink. One shots this. Which should be able to get a flinch and right game. Please. 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 Oh, come on. Come on. Give, give us a flinch. Also, maybe like you have a potion. It does have endurance. So. Oh, well. Or, or like not. Because. Haha. Get flinch. Well, I mean, that's 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 what I was trying to do. You know what? I should have used that move gauge boost earlier. <laughs> Cause like look at this now like just I would just use like one move gauge boost and it just almost fixed all the gauge issues we have yeah yeah this could have went a lot more smoother <laughs> not that it's not going smooth it's, it's going very smooth very 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 smooth just a few health eight you know HP scares earlier on with like plumeria maybe but now we're fine now I we're not even gonna not even gonna have anyone get sacrificed to the big wood hammer here. <laughs> Whew, look at that, man. He was at, like, almost max HP. But still, he, he took it. Right? All right, well, very nice. Uh, good night. Well, that's these runs, right? Pretty nice. We're, uh, we're, we're halfway there. We're uh, one, one streak past halfway there. Uh, only bronze cookie slightly sucks, but, you know, whatever. And, uh... So far, so good. I mean, so far, the first 51 runs have been mostly decent. Minus one. I mean, there's also, like, a few runs that, like, we... It took us, like, two tries to do, right? But most of them have been really, really nice. Minus, minus that one terrible, terrible, terrible mistake. But thankfully, we salvaged that with our uh, Eggmons. <laughs> so we're good. We're good. We're fine. But, uh, all right. Well, the next half starts uh soon tomorrow so um hopefully that that's the second half would be smoother but honestly first half was pretty smooth enough so not super weird although i do have some like really suspect comps for the second half right i mean i have a team that's mainly based on like emmet <laughs> that one could be kind of suspect uh because emmet's you know not particularly helpful against any of these three um Gauntlets, right? Uh, I mean, he's still a solid damage dealer, which is why I I I, I, cho I chose him to be one of the focuses for the teams. But that could be a bit suspect. Who knows? Mm, there's a team with hmm, team with uh, Elio as a main focus. I'm not sure how that one would go either. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Mm, yeah. Santa Leon, I don't completely trust. <laughs> and there's one with, like, Mew as well that I'm not 100% sure. Like, all right. Mew in 2022 as a main focus. She could still do things. All right, I mean, Mew generally should still be fine. But I just also haven't used Mew in a very, very long time, so... Losing trust just a bit, maybe, right? So, so there's there's some, you know, some potentially not so great one. There's one run where uh, my paralysis unit against Renatus is Claire. <laughs> there's one run where I have to use um units like, uh, I don't know, like Jesse, <laughs> which is... Oh, that one I'm really not worried because 
of the unit that she's paired with. You guys will see what I mean. But uh, anyways, I'll, I'll, I'll stop teasing the psych nap. But anyways, yeah, that's why this one. Uh, I guess I'll be all gentlemen, guys. Thank you for the comments down below. Like, enjoy the videos. We're going to have some more about my content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. The second half of the Gauntlet Streaks.